sonographic assessment of the Achilles. It's a very ultrasound friendly tendon. Same as any other tendon, you assess it in both two planes, short axis and long axis. So if we go up towards the musculotendinous junction of the Achilles, we see on our medial aspect in through here, our medial fibres of the Achilles run themselves down and the Achilles undergoes that 90 degree fusiform rotation. So the medial fibres come around running superficially to insert more on the lateral aspect of the calcaneus. If we come back up again, we will appreciate that the fibres from our lateral head of gastrox run down and kind of run within the tendon to become more medial on their orientation. And then the fibres derived primarily from the central tendon of soleus come up into the bulk and it actually forms the majority of the bulk of the medial aspect of the Achilles and through here. So you can appreciate that 90 degree rotation, that twisting around as it runs down in and through. We can assess the tendon in short axis and also in long axis. So the tendon can have active enthesopathy, your spurs, your enthesophytes at its insertion. So we assess the insertion foot plate. More commonly, you have your mid-belly Achilles tendinopathy. And with your mid-belly Achilles tendinopathy, you assess the cagus fat pad underlying. Often adjacent with this, you have paratenon thickening as well. And to assess the paratenon, you can roll your probe from one side to the other of the Achilles to try to highlight and, and pick up the retinacular of the paratenon. So the paratenon can be thick and fibrotic. We assess the fat pad. And we also assess the retrocalcaneal bursa. So if we go long, longitudinal in through here, if we just do a little bit of plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, we can see a bit of a fat pad sticking its nose into the retrocalcaneal bursa. And we can appreciate that this space on the superior posterior aspect of the calcaneus is not where the tendon inserts. It inserts down on the enthesis down in through here. And this is just an area where the tendon lays over bone with our retrocalcaneal bursa and fat pad that can sit in there and act as a bit of a space filler. For a peritendinous Achilles injection, for mid-belly Achilles tendinopathy, this is how we set ourselves up in short axis over the area of greatest thickening. We grab our probe and we grab our needle and we come in and we have a look at our depth and we see that our Achilles is about five to six millimetres below the skin. So we bring our, our needle in from a lower position and we inject both below and above the Achilles tendon, doing that, that paratenon stripping. So a paratenon injection around the Achilles tendon is nice and easy to do, usually from a lateral approach. You get really good access. It's a very easy injection to do. Making sure you don't inject intratendinously if that is not your desire. Mm -hmm.